Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, oh goodness, this lighting is terrible. Hold on. Um, well that didn't make it any better. But anyways, um, I promised you guys that I would record, um, my birth story vlog. And I guess that's what I'm about to do now. Um, so, the... Tuesday that I went in, or maybe it was Wednesday, I don't remember, for my last appointment, um, she stripped my membranes because I was 37 weeks and I was so miserable, I was so swollen, I couldn't walk, like, it was terrible. And he was already measuring at 8 pounds. And I know that's not an exact measurement, but like, I mean, I was worried that I would have to give birth to a 10 pound baby and that would be horrible. Like, his mom gave birth to him when he was 10 pounds my, my husband's mom did um and she had to have a c-section um and I really didn't want to have a c-section so they went ahead and stripped my membranes um at 37 weeks and then a couple of days later I noticed like I was losing some of my mucus plug and I started having contractions and I was contracting all night and then the next morning it started getting more intense and so I called my mom and um she came over and we started timing contractions and um so uh we used an app on her phone to time everything and then it started getting more intense and more intense and more intense and closer together and closer together and i wanted to do a lot of my laboring at home um because that was just really important to me i didn't want to be uncomfortable in the hospital because i mean hospitals are not the most comfortable place let's be honest um, but, so I did a lot of my laboring at home. I labored on the, labor, the birth ball. Like, I did, you know, corkscrew, cork, corkscrewing him into the birth canal by, like, switching my hips around on the, on the ball. Um, and I would just try my best to focus on something else other than the laboring. Um, until a contraction hit and then I would focus on the contraction itself and getting through the peak of it and then you know slowly digressing downward um, I was very focused um, on trying to um, embrace I guess the pain of it and I know that sounds crazy but like it really helped to focus on it so um, we went grocery shopping for dinner because I didn't know whether or not I was going to um, end up going into labor that night or it sure felt like it. So we went grocery shopping for dinner. Um, we got back and I was, I was seriously in so much pain when we were in the grocery store. I had to stop a couple of times and like take a deep breath and I'm sure people were looking at me like I was crazy in Walmart um because I genuinely sorry my phone's being weird um I genuinely was like in pain and having to stop and take a breath and like um so we got home and mom was like well why don't you get a bath because I know that's important to you um to get a bath before we go and then when you get out I'll braid your hair while David takes over cooking I said, okay. Um, David's my husband, in case y'all didn't know. Just throwing that out there. Um, um, so, we... I took a bath, and, like, let me tell you, those people who do water births are really on to something because I didn't feel a single contraction when I was in the water. So, I'm thinking next time I might do, a, like, a laboring in the water and then actually delivering in the bed because it was... It was like the best pain medicine ever was to labor in the water. Um, so, as soon as I got out of the bath, though, they all hit me as soon as I got out. And it was terrible. Um, but I got out, mom braided my hair, and like they finished making dinner, and we sat down to eat dinner, and um, 
I couldn't eat it. I was like, I, I don't know if it's maybe the pain that was m keeping me from being able to eat, but it was like nauseating to take a bite of food. So, um, I was like, I can't eat this. And mom was like, well, we have some watermelon in there, which was like my number one pregnancy craving. Um, so I ate some watermelon. I, I, I got through like two pieces of watermelon and I went into the third one and my water broke everywhere. Like, I was like, oh my God, mom, I have just ruined your hardwood. And she didn't quite understand at first. And then it like, I guess it clicked. And she was like, oh my God, we're having a baby. And I was like, I'm having a baby. But, you know, um, she was like, okay, okay, don't panic, it's okay. Um, and so my sister, my little sister Faith, had to help me into the bathroom because I wanted to, like, wash all the grunk, gunk off before we left. So I jumped in the shower and, like, my original birth plan was to, like, go without drugs. And um, then the contractions after my water broke hit me and I was like, give me the drugs. Like, <laughs> um, I got a shower. My sister and my mom helped me out of the shower. Um, they helped me put on clothes and everything like that. And we took separate cars and, um, David drove in his car and my mom, um, and I and Faith all rode in her car and we had to like stop in the middle of of the road and like get my bag out of David's car because it had my blood pressure cuffs in it and stuff. It was really funny. Um, he just like threw my bag out the window. <laughs> so anyways, so, um, then we got to the hospital, they wheeled me up to the counter or whatever and they're like, we're having a baby today, huh? And I was like, you think like... <laughs> I was like, I want drugs. I want drugs. And they were like, okay, well, we'll call the anesthesiologist. And I was like, okay. And so they hooked me up to everything. They, like, gave me my, I, they came in and gave me my IV. And it took, like, two and a half hours for the anesthesiologist to get in the room. Like, two and a half hours. And um, when I got to the hospital, I was at five. But by the time that the anesthesiologist came in, like, two and a half hours later, guys, two and a half hours later, I was at a 10 so they couldn't the, the epidural wouldn't have worked once you're at that point you, you have to push and I was really mad I was like dang it I was like promised a epidural induced coma nap before I had to push and so I was mad I was nice and pissed off at this point so um they told me I was out of 10. I was like, you know what? Just get her in here and let's do this. Let's do it. I want to be done. Um, so my doctor came in um, and sweet lady. Love her. Love her. Would not trust anybody else. Um, but so we started pushing. And I really only pushed for like maybe 10 or 15 minutes, which is really impressive considering this was my first and only pregnancy really um I mean first one that went full term but um so I pushed probably 10 or 15 minutes and he was out and he got here on July 10th um at 1209 a.m and he weighed seven pounds 11 ounces and he was 22 and a half inches long so that's my birth vlog um if you guys have any questions about birth i mean i'm not a doctor by any means but um y'all can put them below um also don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video um i'm gonna be doing a lot of story times obviously not on this camera i'm just doing this right now because it's convenient because my son is awake but i have a I have an actual camera that I'm going to be using. So, if y'all want to see any more story time videos, y'all let me know. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and being so supportive. I love you all. And I will talk to you later.